Hello training campers. In this simulation module, you will learn how to operate a cold state marine fire tube boiler. The steam plant or boiler system shown here is intended for producing steam used as heating agent in the technical and domestic heaters on board ship. The components in this simulator model are as follows. A system of pipelines, a burner unit, a condensate catch tank, two electrically driven feed water pumps, a condenser, a cooling flow control valve through the condenser, a main steam stop valve and consumer steam valves, a condensate tank makeup valve. In the right part of the screen, we have the system control panel composed of a steam pressure control for the boiler furnace and steam pressure control unit. Control for the main exhaust gas flow through the boiler, feed water control of the boiler feed pumps and condenser, boiler control valves, and consumer steam distribution valves. In the next page, we have the simulated model of the boiler fuel system. The system is designed for supplying fuel to the boiler burners. It allows the burners to use heavy fuel oil or diesel oil for operation. The fuel circulation is provided by two electrically driven pumps. On the right side, we have the boiler fuel system control panel, which are divided into three groups. First, fuel pumps, filters, and valve control group. Second, fuel oil heater control group. Third, fuel oil tanks and pipeline handling group. So campers, let's start the simulation. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to operate a cold state fire tube boiler going to normal running condition. First up, we need to acknowledge first the alarm on the alarm station. Then proceed to the steam plant page. Pre-purge your boiler by pressing the fan button on the steam pressure controller. Then close the boiler valves, the derating valve. Then proceed to the boiler fuel system. Line up the system for diesel oil circulating going to the burner. Open your preheater bypass. Selector switch set to the on. Open burner stop valves 1 and 2. Adjust boiler fuel pump set point to 5 bars. Then start 1 fuel pump. Set it to auto running condition. Since diesel oil is now circulating in the system, we need to fire the boiler. Go to the steam plant page. Manually fire the two burners by pressing the burner 1 and 2 switches. Acknowledge the alarm. This is normal because we are circulating diesel fuel oil in the boiler fuel system. As you can see, we have here an icon indicating that the boiler is already running and burning diesel oil. Proceed back to the steam plant page. We adjust the pressure set point to 8 bars. But first, you need to set the steam pressure controller to auto running condition and then set point set to maximum of 8 bars 
once you have done that check if your feed water is running if not your feed water pump should be operated start one feed water pump set to automatic running wait for the steam pressure to rise monitor the pressure gauge as soon as you have observed that there is no more alarms you could know you could now already open the main steam stop valve of the boiler then open the consumer valves that uses the steam for heating so we have the fuel tank fuel tank heating and separator and then we need to open also the condenser return line valve and then open cooling to your condenser by adjusting the condenser flow control valve so that the excess steam pressure or excess steam will be convert, converted back to water going back to the condenser tank or otherwise known cascade tank now we change over the fuel from diesel oil going to heavy oil proceed back to your boiler fuel system all you have to do is set the temperature controller first to automated running open your preheater inlet valve then close your steam bypass valve in order to rectify this alarm you need to open the steam inlet valve going to the preheater then watch the preheater outlet temperature rise once it reaches at around 120 degrees centigrade the alarm will be cancelled out once the alarm has already been cancelled you could now change over from diesel oil consumption going to heavy fuel oil afterwards you open the tracing steam line and adjust heating to your heavy fuel oil service tank then we go back to the boiler we monitor every parameter do not forget to fill up the condenser tank level by opening the tank makeup valve once you have opened it you monitor the tank maximum level is around 80 to 90 percent then you close the makeup valve so that's it that's the end of my simulation the starting of a cold state fire tube boiler going to a normal running fire tube boiler